What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Keel, and I'm here at the University of Maryland with Ryan Davis. Ryan, how you doing? How you doing, George? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you as well. So let me tell you something, man. I'm not gonna work out with you today. <laughs> that's not why we're here. I thought that's why we were coming in here today, George. No, nah, we're not doing that. But I hear this weight room is the crown jewel of the Maryland football facility, at least one of them. George, we're extremely fortunate to have this space here. We're very proud of it. Our guys are proud of it. But what we were able to build here really was for our football team to tailor everything we do for those guys. So in this room, you're looking at 25,000 square feet of space in here. Everything in this room, George, that we did just about is custom. So from the bars to the plates to the racks that we did in this room, we got with these vendors and we said, what is the best thing that we can do for Maryland football to tailor it to what we do and how we go about our business. So Play was one of the vendors that did our floor. They did an incredible job there. We use Rogue for all the racks that are in the room and all of those are custom builds from the ground up. We use Alico for all of our barbells and plates. We were the first facility in the States to have their grip discs and their fat handle Evo dumbbells. For us as the coaches, everything comes down to time. The NCAA only gives us eight hours a week to train them and get these guys prepared. So when you have your field space right there and you have your fueling station right there and you have the locker room and your sports medicine facility right behind it and everything's in one area, you don't spend a whole lot of time in transition or chasing guys around because everything is right here. Now let's go to one of the racks because I wanna really see this technology. One of the things that players look for is they look for feedback in what they're doing. We partnered with Perch. And what Perch is, is it's a velocity-based training system. It basically measures what the bar is doing. So we can measure bar speed, we can measure time under tension. It's gonna be able to count reps. It's gonna do all those things. But in every rack, what we did is we had a camera that was installed. When the player comes here to the iPad, anything that they're doing for the day, we'll tab the movements in a favorite section. So if they're gonna clean, they're gonna squat, all that stuff can be pre-programmed for the day. You know, you can grab the bar, and if we hit one of those reps, it's gonna be able to measure and track bar speed. This is immediate feedback for the players when they're in the rack. So what this does for us in the coaching profession is it really drives something that we call intent. We can measure the player's speed, we can count his rep, we can look at the eccentric, we can even do a live leaderboard. And what we've done before is we've put it up on the Jumbotron, so as we're training in whatever those movements are, the guys can see who has the greatest force velocity curve or who's given us the greatest power output in that movement. So for this, I think the perch is probably the single greatest thing in the room that's really driven the intent for the training with the player. All right, Abir, Coach Davis told me that the weight room was like the crown jewel of this facility, but I'm starting to think this area is. Like, Absolutely. I don't see this in, in many uh, facilities, a recruiting suite. This is our bread and butter. So this has this beautiful view of our stadium. It's where we bring people up to meet with Coach Loxley. But this is a special place just for recruits to get to know what it's like to be a player on our team. So as you can see here, we have all the gear that they'll get during their time at Maryland. This is their casual wear. So when you see them roaming around campus, this is what they're wearing. The these are all the shoes that they're getting with us with the best Under Armour gear and put them on the road. And over here we have game day, more casual with polos, their sweatsuits. But what they're really looking for is the gloves and the cleats. And they want to know what they look like on game day. Definitely. And you guys benefit from having an amazing uh, relationship with Under Armour, right? Yes. They're in your backyard. You guys have a lot of apparel and gear that comes through this uh, facility. Do you recognize that it's like not normal? Absolutely. So I was a former student. I worked with a team and I had duffel bags and duffel bags of clothes. So for me, having that relationship and partnership with Under Armour, it's unique to us. We have the opportunity to test products out before they get here. We are definitely protecting our house here and building the brain for Under Armour as well. What do we have behind this? Yeah, so you know, when you, you come in here and you're getting recruited by the University of Maryland, our big saying here is the best is ahead. So all the opportunities that you're looking for are right here at the College Park. So for you guys, the best is ahead. And this is our throne room. It's where you come in, you get suited and booted and put you in the throne and we'll get you the flag. And as you guys can see, it's part of everything that we do and you just drape one of these on. All right, I wanna make a quick pit stop before we move on. So this wall is a beautiful perforated metal with the M bar staple piece of our branding. But if you take a step back, if you pull out your phone, what you'll notice, this is actually a stadium shot. 
And so this stadium shot has our flag dropped. And so this is something tradition for all of our games. Speaking of flags, uh, you guys have like a two story one right here, right? Yes. What is the significance of that? This is the Maryland state flag. So as you can see on our uniforms, all around the building, our M bar, all of our branding incorporates the Maryland flag. So there's Calvert and the Crosslands, they're two families, brought Maryland kind of together, we brought the North to the South, we represented everything that we do here. And that's where we got our colors from. And you guys have some pioneers that went here that are like very significant for the program. Can you kind of walk me through those three? So the founder of our number, Kevin Plank, played on our team here, developed his product while he was at school here. And he contributed so much to this building, everything that we do with the football program. And so instead of having this Kevin Plank house, what we have here is the Jones Hill house. And we have Daryl Hill and Billy Jones, two pioneer African-American athletes, the first in their respective sports to play south of the Mason-Dixon. So we're so appreciative of Kevin and all his contributions. Calling all college football fans. The 2022 season kicks off this week. There are plenty of ways to cash in this college football season. As teams begin their journey towards the national championship, DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rated sportsbook app, is putting new customers in the center of action with an opportunity to instantly turn $5 into $200 in free bets. Keyword, instantly. That's right. DraftKings is giving all new customers $200 in free bets when they place any pregame $5 or more wager on the college football team of their choosing. Plus, with same game parlays, you can combine multiple bets from the same game to give yourself a chance at even bigger winnings all season long. DraftKings is a vet in the sports betting world, so you know your funds are safe and can be withdrawn whenever, wherever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code Koisky and receive $200 in free bets instantly when placing a $5 wager. That's promo code Koisky only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The University of Maryland is filled with first. Our fearless ideas started with a commercially televised college football game in the 40s, putting our players' names on the back of the jerseys in the early 60s, and Darrell Hill being the first black football player in the ACC. We are the only FBS school, Power Five, that has a black president, a black athletic director, as well as a black head football coach. This area is where we honor our award winners, Academics All-Conference, All-Americans, a wall just dedicated to our bowl wins, and finally, our national award winners and Hall of Fame inductees, starting with Randy White, and most recently, EJ Henderson, inducted just in 2020. All right, Abir, this uh, dining hall is spacious, to say the least. Yeah, so the term seat good. We have a Mongolian grill. We have a warming station right here. In the back, we have a salad bar, ice cream bar, the pizza station, a deli station. So whatever the kids are in the mood for, we have that available here to them. Now, something I'm seeing that's very different from uh, a lot of dining halls across the nation, you guys have different seating options. Absolutely. So we didn't want this to be a cafeteria. So it's very sports bar-esque. It's a very sports bar style. We have outdoor seating. So guys, when they want a little bit of quieter space, but it also gives us flexibility during the summer, we bring in um, entertainment groups. We've had flamethrowers out there before. We have this open empty space right here that you can just customize and our players are able to do cook-offs with each other. We set up mini stations and they learn how to cook different meals based on their grocery options. So we provide a lot of flexibility up here. It's a huge room for opportunity to do any activities with the team. So it's a great space. Awesome, awesome. And you guys have a, a like a secret dining area as well? Yes. The view is amazing. What purpose does this room serve? Yes, yeah, so I think it's my secret spot for meetings. So when we kind of want to get away from the office, this is what we get to do meetings. A lot of times we host our wives and families here and give an opportunity and then when the players have special days, so we get to pick a few players and they had a great week. I like to spoil them. We'll just get lunch from here, but then we get to sit here quietly and just get to enjoy the view. Now, Beer, everyone in the country knows that Maryland football, again, the uniforms, the helmets, you guys sit at the top, right? Can you kind of describe what we have here? These are the standard, right? So this is our standard home jersey with the red pride, the white pants. This is our standard away jersey with the white pride uniform. And this is our blacked out jerseys. So leading up to game day, we have a leadership council. They get to tell Coach Loxley what we want to wear. So they might mix and match and you'll see us in a couple different combinations. But I really want to touch on are these two special uniforms on the outside. Pay homage to the older Terp teams for us and the custom Terp script is there and so we've been able to wear them 
um, in previous years on homecoming games. So just paying homage to those teams and the Terps that came before us. One thing I noticed that you guys do is you definitely pay homage to the military. All of our helmets tell a great story. And when I was here, we went through about eight helmets. I can touch on, especially this one, the Star Spangled Banner helmet. Though it looks like a Terrapin, it's actually the base at Fort McHenry uh, with the Star Spangled Banner to it. Our jerseys had them. And I want to kind of touch on the one that shocked the world, which was this pride helmet, the first time we kind of debuted in full uniform, the flag, and just really embraced it. And that has become so staple. That started what you see now is our traditional pride helmet. A beer, this locker room is crazy. It is incredible. This is player centric, this entire floor, but this is the hub of it. This is our locker room. It connects directly to our players lounge, to our sports medicine area, to the showers, equipment space. Weight room is right down the hall. But more than that, if you take the steps down, you're in the tunnel that leads straight into our stadium. So we have 126 lockers. This is a beautiful chair. It's wide enough for all of our players, O-line, D-line, whoever you are, you can fit into this seat. But what I find most interesting is, this is why they don't leave. Because it reclines all the way back. And then you have this awesome ottoman. And really, they're just spending their day taking naps here. And it's just a great place for them to hang out. I'll show you the storage. They can put all of their things in here. So they're at school all day, they come back in, and then you have this space storage for foam roller, extra slides, sneakers. This entire locker is ventilated. So though he has all of his cleats in here, you don't smell it. Up here is where their helmets will go. This is also ventilated, so airflow constantly going into their helmets, drying it out before their next event. And then as you open this up as well, you can see Tarheeb has his gloves, um, his mouth guards, but this is where his jersey and pads will go. It has everything they need for the day. So a wireless charger when they just want to getting ready for practice. And then you go inside of here and it's a custom shelving unit, outlets. So every single player has the ability to come back from class, relax here for a little bit, but then also be able to get ready for practice and go on to the next part of their day. A beer, the lighting in here is uh, very dynamic as well, right? Yeah. So we can do a lot with the lighting, but what I'll do, I'll pull out my phone and kind of show you just our lockers can be changed. So you'll see this transition to a few different colors here and we have greens and yellows and blues, pinks, reds, and obviously we're Terps, so we keep it red. Okay, Abir, where are we now? This is a player's lounge. The nap spot, the hangout spot, the place they don't want anyone else to come, but the player just to hang out, have some alone time and do what they like to do. But I think the other most used area is the barber shop. The players will cut their own hair, cut their teammates hair, bring in their own barbers. It's really cool. We have the custom lighting up here for the barbershop pole. And of course the music studio. So we catch Coach Locks in here occasionally late nights, but it's just a spot, once again, we like to keep them here, give them all the opportunities they have for success and whatever they want to do. So giving them the resources sources to have a recording studio in here and make music. And we have some guys who have songs on Apple Music, so subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bill, before we close, I kind of want to get into your role here. What is it that you do for the University of Maryland football program? And uh, how is it very unique across the country? So I'm the director of football operations. Every team in the country has one, but I think what makes me unique is Coach Oxley and the opportunities that he gives me to grow our program, being an ambassador wherever I am. This is my alma mater, it means a lot to me. But the daily operations of our team, making sure they're on schedule, where they're supposed to be, being involved in their development, whether that's helping them with their relationship with their mentors, how to find an internship. Those are all the things I'm interested in when I like to help them grow. But I think what makes me really unique is that there's only a handful of women in the country who do this um, as a director of football operations of their team, especially at the FBS level. I think there's no more than six of us. And so it's a unique opportunity to kind of be a trailblazer in this space and allow young girls, my interns who come in here, show them that there is a space for them in football um, at this level, at the Big Ten level. And so I'm, I'm honored to have that opportunity here at the University of Maryland.